Good morning, hello, and welcome to Thursday, April 23rd, your ELA daily video. Starting outside again, as usual, on my front porch so we can do our check-in with the robin's egg nest. Let's see if anything's changed. All right, coming right in, and we see that... There it is, look at that. Three eggs now. One egg a day by this robin. Now, every time I come out here, he runs away, or she runs away. I try to get a good picture of the robin. I can hear him off in the distance. That's what I'm looking at. But she's a little too shy, so sorry about that. Maybe we'll catch a picture with her on another day. So before we get started, let's do our shout outs. In 103, I'm saying hi today to Nathan. In 109, let's uh, say hello to Lizbell. And in 108, let's say hello to Kion. And hello to all the rest of you first graders. We have some good work for you today to do. So have fun watching the video. Was that a bee that just flew by me? <laughs> you never know what happens when you're outside. Good luck. And remember, parents, if you have any questions, you uh, can email me at bdefranco at jcboe.org or just hit me up on the Dojo app. Don't forget to submit their portfolio assignments on Class Dojo. I use that to check to make sure that they're understanding the work. And eventually, we're going to have to talk about grades soon, too, for the fourth market period. More on that very soon. Good luck today. The ELA Daily Rundown, Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. For reading, today we're going to watch the read aloud of a sleuth selection called A Magical Garden. Then we're going to complete the graphic organizer and answer the questions. Remember, if you don't have the packet or you don't have the ability to print out the materials that were sent to you on the online link, don't worry. All the questions and all the stuff that's done on this graphic organizer can be completed on any type of paper. And remember, this will be your dojo portfolio assignment today for reading. In writing, we're going to do the daily fix it, seven and eight. That is your dojo portfolio assignment for writing today. You'll see it says sleuth writing task, but it's crossed out. The reason why I have it here is because it is in the packet as something you should do in writing today, but I'm taking it out. It's a little too much work. We're gonna trim it down just a little bit today, so don't you worry about doing that today. Finally, foundational skills. Complete two boxes of spelling bingo. That's your dojo portfolio assignment for foundational skills. Together, we're going to work on words that end in ED. Get some practice doing that. That's not something that has to be done by hand in writing and shown to me. That's gonna be something that your child will do with me on the video together. And last, we're going to read the decodable reader, The Cart. Your child should be able to read this three times. Um, let them read it to a family member or a stuffed animal. Have some fun with it, okay? A Magical Garden. Did you ever dream of a colorful garden in the middle of winter? You can go to the Botanic Gardens all year long. The Brooklyn Botanic Garden was started in 1910. It is in New York. It has over 12,000 types of plants. It has 13 gardens as well as indoor growing spaces. Summer is great here. In June, thousands of roses bloom. But what about fall? The roses are gone in October, but you can visit the Bonsai Museum. You will see tiny trees. In fall, many sport autumn colors. Winter has its own beauty. Orchids grow in an inside space. Spring is very special. The cherry trees bloom. They are planted in two rows. They are covered in soft pink blossoms. Guess what blooms on Daffodil Hill? Cheerful yellow and white daffodils. You can also see tulips of all colors. Which season is your favorite at the Botanic Garden? All right, here's our graphic organizer that we're going to complete. Now, I know you probably don't have this paper. That's fine. This graphic organizer could be done on any sheet of paper you have at home, whether it has lines, it came out of your printer, anything you have. Back of another piece of paper that you're not using anymore. It is Earth Day, you know, so let's be uh, responsible and reuse. So as you can see, this is called a magical garden. It says visualize. Draw and label what you would see in each season. This should be easy. Summer. What would you see outside with plants and flowers in the summer? In the fall. What would a tree look like in the fall? 
in winter? What do you imagine plants and trees would be doing in winter time? And finally, spring, which we're in right now, what do the plants and trees outside your door look like right now? Let's move on over to the right here and see where it says in the box, look for clues. I want you to answer this question. What are some beautiful plants at the garden in each season? You're going to go back to the story and remember in your mind, what are some of the beautiful plants at the garden in each season? So spring had what kind of plant? Fall had what kind of plant? Winter had what kind of plant? Summer had what kind of plant? Just one example for each season. Where it says, ask questions, I want you to answer this question. What question would you ask a person who plants flowers at the garden? What do you want to know? What's important to the flowers? What's something you may not realize that they could probably answer for you? Finally, in the box it says, make your case. Answer this question. In which season would you most want to visit the garden and why? What are the flowers that you like the most and what season was it in? And why would you want to go see that one? Finally, the box at the bottom says, author's purpose. Why did the author write this text? All you have to tell me is, was this written to persuade you? Was this written to inform you about something you may have not known before? Or was this written to entertain you, make you laugh, make you cry, make you smile? Pick which one you think it is, write it on the page. All right, good luck. The Daily Fix-It. Here are your two sentences you need to correct today. Remember, it could be a misspelled word. It could be a word missing a letter. It could be an incorrect or missing punctuation. Or it could be an incorrect or missing capital letter. You figure it out. Write it down on a piece of paper. And remember, this will be your writing portfolio assignment for today on Class Dojo. Good luck. All right, for this, with the spelling words you just saw on the previous screen, and go back and look at them again if you have to, and pause and write them down. But with those words, you're going to do this weekly spelling menu, or spelling bingo, as it says in the remote learning packet. You're going to choose two of these, two of these, to do with your spelling words. Most of these look familiar, what we've been doing in our homework notebooks, for the year. Some of them are new. You have any questions? Send me a dojo message. I'll be glad to help explain them, but most of them are self-explanatory. So remember, you're going to do two of these. This will be your foundational skills assignment on the Class Dojo portfolio. So once you complete two of these spelling bingo uh, activities, you'll have a, a picture taken of it, and you'll upload it to Class Dojo portfolio for your foundational skills slash spelling assignment for today. Good luck! Words with ending sound ED. You're going to write the list word to finish the chart. Alright, list words are where it says spelling words. It says ask, asked, plan, planned, help, helped, drop, dropped, call, and called. Now the base word is what the word is without the ed at the end. And then the ed word is the word with ed at the end of it. So number one wants to know what's the base word for asked. If we take off the ed, the base word is ask. Number two wants to know how does drop become an ed word. Now if we look at it, drop is one of those words, we checked our spelling words, it's one of those words where we got to double the consonant at the end before adding the ed. So we make sure we keep that vowel sound the same. So we add a p to drop and then add the ed, that gives us dropped. Number three, it wants to know what's the base word for helped. Remember all we do to help is add an ed at the end. 
So if we take the ed off, the base word is check our spelling words in the in the uh, in the box next to it. Help, H E L P. Help. Number four, plan, P L A N. That's the base word. How do we add ed at the end? Let's look at the spelling word box. I see plan is the third word. Underneath it is the ed version of plan. And you can see that they had to add the double consonant after the vowel. So it becomes planned. P-L-A-N-N-E-D. All right, read the clues. Write the list words. Number five. It rhymes with can. It starts with a P-L. Remember that P-L sound is a blend. A pl, 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 pl. And it rhymes with can, and the ending sound of can is an. Pl, 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 plus an equals plan. That's right. Number five is plan. P-L-A-N. Number six. It rhymes with ball, but it starts with a C. So we know if it rhymes with ball, it's going to have that same ending sound, that all sound at the end. We take that ending sound of all and we add a C to the beginning, the k, k, k sound to the all sound. Number six will be, that's right, call. Number six is call, C-A-L-L. -L. Number seven says it rhymes with top. But it starts with dr. Dr is another one of those blend sounds. So we got to put the d and the r together. We get a dr, dr, dr. And if it rhymes with top, that means the ending sound is op, 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 dr, dr, dr. Plus op, op, op. Put it all together, and what do you got? Drop. That's right. You got it. Number seven is drop. Our next directions say write the list word that tells what happened in the past. Oh, that's why we add ED, right? For past tense. Number eight, we can ask for paper. We asked for paper. Add the ED at the end of ask. A-S-K-E-D for paper. Number nine, I will call my friends. I, how do we do the past tense of call? We're going to add an ED at the end. Do I have to add any more consonants to the end of call first? No, I don't. There's already two L's there. So it'll be C-A-L-L-E-D. I called my friends. Number 10, he can help. He helps. No, we want past tense. So we have to say he helped. Now look at the spelling words box. Do we add an extra consonant to that P? No. So it's H-E-L-P-E-D, helped. All right, I hope you did well on this. Let's move on. Have a good All right, it's now time for our decodable reader. This is where you get a chance to try to sound out those words and read a story on your own. Remember, I wanted you to try to read this three times. Maybe you could read one time to a parent or a guardian. Maybe once your stuffed animal can hear the story. And maybe one more time just for enjoyment. I'm not going to read the story to you here, so what you're going to see is each page will be on the screen for 10 seconds. Don't try to read it within those 10 seconds. Pause the video and sound out those words, and when you think you got it, press play and let it go on to the next page. If you have any problems, you let me know, but I think you got this. Good luck. Well, that's the end of another day of ELA. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too difficult for you boys and girls and parents. If you can, please don't forget, submit the work that was requested onto the Class Dojo portfolio. If you have any questions or any concerns or you need any help with that, just reach out to me and ask. It's no big deal. Also, if you have any suggestions on what I can add or change in the videos, send me a text, send me an email, send me a message, and uh, we'll look into it. 
Otherwise, have a great day. A happy Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Hopefully these skies stay sunny. It's pretty nice out right now, but it's a little cold. I'm going back inside. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. I'll do the screen. I want you to do the screen.